Yo, someone actually needs to put a stop on me. For real. Like, these markets are just getting destroyed. The amount of money I've made this week is over six figures. I've never done this before in trading. I've just literally changed my life this, this week. It's fucking nuts. And, you know, 16, 22 buyers we caught. All in free trades. Link in description. 16, 60 sells we caught. And then, mate, we're just catching the 16, 41, 50 entries. Bang. Then, obviously, we saw the pullback after the push up. That was a fake out. We held. And yeah, man, my trade closed for plus 95k. But I've caught the buyers and sellers buyers. Now we're on the sellers up here as well. We got a 1674 entry on this one as well. I just wanted to say, guys, the money that we've made this week is fucking ridiculous. And it's all down to hard work. I've I took a massive break. You can see on my YouTube channel. I went to the buy, I had to mentally reset. I come back, got into a good gym routine, and now I'm slaying Forex trading again. I'm back again, grinding my absolute arse off for percent after percent after percent, and this is all free. Now, I can explain all of these reasons to why we entered the markets. They're so simple reasons. Now, we see the push up here at 16.42. Oh, actually, let's just talk about, let's talk about these, these buyers. The 1641 buyers. Now, we see gold push up and make highs. The real price retracement from the previous sales was 1673 slash 1674. If you look on the 4H, price sold here. We see it sell from 1690 all the way to 1660. Then when price resold back up, it come to here and sold down all the way from 1616. So this is just a price retracement. Now, 1662 would have been good sales, which we call, because obviously you've seen the bullish push up. That is some huge momentum. You will see pullbacks. Now, we pushed up, and that was just a price retracement of the previous bearish on the 4H, and it's same on the daily as well, by the way. On the daily, you've seen the push down, so therefore, you know you, you're going to sell back down. Now, on the daily, you're going to see support at 1642 on this daily high. This is when price pulled back and then pushed back down again. And because we broke up on this daily, we know that we're now buyers because we've gone into a bullish market. Because we've taken out previous highs, made highs up here. Now, obviously, today, we've seen price push all the way up. You could see price push up to 1676 because in theory on the daily that is a good position for price to pull back on because that is the wick right there now that will probably take place at some point today we're in sales at a minute at 1674 because of the previous highs now this is on the 1h which is why you can day trade and swing trade the daily is better for swing trades the 1h is better for in and out if you've got 100 pip take profit 60 80 pip take profit now that's the reason why we got in 1641.50 slash 16.42 on the 1H. The highs made before the break below, but then huge bullish push up, and we took out new highs. We know now it's going to push to the high made in of this in this zone right here marked up. That is a zone. The highs of this zone pull that pull back push up, and because we break out of into a bullish market, we know that this is going to be the range where it's going to collect. And continue to stagger up because if you look here we've already found support here so this is the new range and this is all due to like life experience train experience it's why i know this shit you know and sometimes it might not do it but most of the time it will because we're breaking out made new highs we're going to see the pullback you know we're breaking out of zone we know that the 1662 is a good point in the market because of the 1h where the highs dropped here we know that this is a good point of price retracement just because of the whole bullish momentum of this staggering zone there we know it's going to pull back at some point that's a good point where markets will gather orders and then obviously impulse off now that's why we ended themselves and that was during tokyo session and then we catch the buyers buy limit set to now with this trade it's a five to one 
I wanted to make it 10 to 1 and we could have. But I was like, yo, I'm just going to make it a 5 to 1 to prove to people that you can use 20 pip cells or 10 pip cells when you're catching these insane sniper entries. And obviously, the only reason I know this is because I've studied the charts. And I'm actually putting a lot of effort into the markets to make and change my life. And this week has been the most life-changing thing ever. So make sure to join up the free trades and all that good stuff. But yeah, now, quick sells back down. Could probably see it pull back. And you got to look on the 1H. Collected all this here. Go on to the 4H. Where could we pull back from? We could pull back to 1652 or 1660. So I'm not really too sure where gold could go now. But once it starts selling, as I said, on the daily, 1675. We wicked out of the body. But we want to try and wick out on here or at least reach up to close to it. Now, we're not that close to it at the minute. We could see pullbacks to 1664, 1663, which is why this take profit is a quick, easy take profit because previous highs here, 1663 and 1665. Now, you'll just see an impulsive spike down and then it will take out orders. Now, that will hit a take profit and then we'll wait and see how gold moves throughout the day. As I said, it's Friday. It's only quarter past 10 in the morning. Like, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys' support. If you want to change your life, the forexfunder.com, buy your prop firm challenge. Try and pass it. Use risk management. Join up the free trades. And yeah, I'm going to keep grinding my YouTube channels, all of them, my free trading group, my gold group. I'm grinding everything right now. So stay tuned because it's only big things to come. TikTok, Instagram, you name it, we're grinding it. Peace.